point of view internet, this is This Weekend, where we give you a retrospective view of this week and past decades. I'm your host, Kawada Kirk. I'm Ray Nitus. And I'm Big Tom. All right, Killer Team, what happened this week in the final week of January in 1976? Hey, ooh. Big shout out to my brother, James. He was a week old. Week old. Happy birthday. All right, why don't you go ahead and lead us off? <laughs> uh, the sixth AFC NFC Pro Bowl. Uh, NFC wins 23 to 20. Laverne and Shirley spinoff from Happy Days <laughs> premieres on ABC. All in one week, right there. Ooh, I don't know why those things go together, though. They don't go together, man. <laughs> you know, sometimes I forget oh, the space. Oh. So, yes, Laverne and Shirley, oh, the, one the spinoff <laughs> uh, from Happy Days premieres Shemito. on Shemito. ABC. Hey, what? Hassan Pfeffer. What? Hasn't hep incorporated. I thought it was Hassan Pfeffer. It should be. <laughs> We're kind of like Laverne and Shirley is here. Oh yeah, like we, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna yeah. do it. You know how many people when I when I first got the job there, they was like, "Hey, do you want the?" Beer? I was like, "We don't do bottles." Do you put <laughs> the glove on the beer? Yeah, yeah, yeah we do. It's cans, and they go way too fast. Actually, we can do the bottles now. Yeah, we can do now. Remember the first time I grabbed that can off the line? Yeah, you stopped the line. Yeah. 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 Like How is this safe? Walk away, walk away. <laughs> Ray nice. George Bush becomes the eleventh director of the U.S. Central Intelligence. Yeah. Was, so it wasn't the, the Rock and Kevin Hart? Not yet. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. So later, Papa, he was the eleventh. They're they're the thirteenth and fourteenth. Papa they're Bush. That that's one of those things. Like when he was like the president, I was like, hey man, he used to run the CIA. Yeah, he was. He was that's he was, crazy. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Yeah, he was gonna do it. Gonna do it. Wow. All right. Top five songs on the radio this week. Boom. In 1976. Ray, number no, five. get it on, get it on, get it on, get it on. The I Love Music by the OJs. The OJs. <laughs> get it on, get it on, get it on. Number one, or excuse me, number, <laughs> number, <laughs> number four. four. You Sexy Thing by oh, Sexual no, no, Chocolate. No, no, no. <laughs> sexual <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs> sexual no, Chocolate. actually a group called Hot Chocolate. Yeah, I lead they, the children of our future. You know what? Two of them were Teaching white. Well and <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were gonna be Six all brothers. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> two of them were white. I was like, oh, okay. everybody in the band is white. <laughs> Six thing. Uh, Number three, three, Donna three. Summer with Love to Love You, Baby. Hey, man, Donna Summer. That song. If you listen love to that song, I don't know. I'm like, me. Yeah, every time. Well, you know, once in a while, like, golly, you, you are just making love to this song. She is moaning and groaning in the song. Like you know what I mean? Like Sunny, she is moaning. Know. Love to love you, baby. Hey, black house stuff? shoes. My can't go to match. See? Hip rap game. See? Take all your scratch. Ooh, love to love to love you. That's what I like. Yeah. Ooh. Number two, I write the songs by Barry Manilow. Man, that's smooth. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to see who's Rod Stewart and Barry Manilow. Who, who sings the songs? He does. And he writes them. And Big Tom, number one. Love Roller Coaster by the Ohio Players. Is that the one where. Uh, Red Hot? Roller oh. Coaster! Yeah, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Uh, That's the one where. Uh, Roller is, Coaster! Is there an urban legend around that one? Yeah. There's an urban legend that uh, while they were recording it, somebody coaster, was being baby. killed oh, shit. in the oh, background. Yeah. So you, hear the, you can you hear, hear the screaming. Scream. Oh, mm, and that's yeah. when they're when they go down the roller coaster and you hear the screams. That's it's actually somebody screaming. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's goosebumps right there. Urban legend, mm-hmm. you know. Urban legend. And speaking about people getting killed, oh, this week at the movies, the opening of Taxi Driver, Ooh. starring Robert De Niro. You talking to me? You talking to me? You talking to me? That's my De Niro. Made a face. You're doing my De Niro. Oh, hey, I'm walking here. Jodie Foster, oh, Albert Brooks, oh, Harvey Keitel, Leonard Harris, Peter Boyle, and Sybil Shepherd. Box office on this one, $28.4 million. But look how many stars was in this movie, boy. Yeah. They didn't even know what they had. Nah. They didn't even know what they but had. You knew, who, you knew who knew they had? Martin Scorsese. Mm. Genius. You talking to me? He's a genius, man. I mean, like, all the lineup of the movies. He, he's still, man, the Irishman, he just, he just dropped. It was pretty good. Martin Scorsese. It didn't have Harvey Pantel in it, though. Yes, it did. Yeah. You did not watch The Irishman, did you? Oh, yeah. Yes. Cut, cut that part out. Cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Big shout out to Harvey Pantel. <laughs> I was drunk when I watched uh, that. Uh, uh. 
It was three hours, three and a half hours. I, I used this whole shift to watch it, watch it twice, <laughs> <laughs> or part of. Like, no, he wasn't watching movies at work. <laughs> no, it was like metaphor. <laughs> it was a metaphor. metaphor. Yeah. Also, big time. Oh. <laughs> also in theaters, next stop, Green, Greenwich Village. Was Sorry, Lady there? Baker, <laughs> Shelley Winters, Ellen Green, Lois Smith, and Christopher Walken. Hey. Next stop, Greenwich Village. <laughs> Greenwich, <laughs> Greenwich <laughs> Village. Christopher, Christopher Walken. I would love to see Christopher Walken in a Scorsese movie. I was wondering why was Christopher Walken on that boat? What boat? You know the one when um, what was it? Robert Wagner and Natalie Wood. Natalie Wood came up dead. What the? <laughs> Christopher Walken was on the boat. I don't know what you're talking about. Neither did he. That was the problem. <laughs> Christopher Walken. And still in theaters right now. We have a movie called Lucky Lady. Gene Hackman. Liza Manelli and Burt Reynolds, twenty-four million four hundred forty-one thousand seven hundred twenty-five dollars. And if you would have paid me twenty-four million four hundred forty-one thousand seven hundred twenty-five dollars, I would not be able to tell you that Burt Reynolds and Gene Hackman did a movie together with Burt, Liza Manelli. Burt Reynolds was yeah, man. tanned. Yeah, that's when he was. Uh, and they made he almost the as much money as Taxi Driver. Did he do the Playgirl? <laughs> yeah, I didn't see it. You see? Oh, you, know. <laughs> you saw it. You know why? There's a cowboy hat over here. It was Bert. That was Bert was his burriest. I thought it was in Deliverance when he said, I'm going to jump down. I'm going to make that jump. And when the director said, Don't do it, we got to stand in to do it. Nah, He's like, Nah, I can make it. <laughs> Tom Cruise, kiss my ass. <laughs> And what happened? Did it make it? Yeah, it looked authentic. No, <laughs> passed, yeah. After he passed out when he did it. Nostalgia is addictive, and we're here to deliver a fatty sized dose of it. <laughs> Please like, share, and we'd like to hear what you think. Leave us a comment down below and let your opinion be heard. And this was what, what it was. was. <laughs> That's a funny story, though, man. Ah, uh, uh, Donna, pull yourself together. Pull together. Pull together.